Hi, I'm Dani Moreno. I've been living in Georgia for almost five years. And even though I don't like football, I don't understand the game. I am so happy for the Falcons because they're finally playing at that Super Bowl again. The first and only time the Falcons played in a Super Bowl was in 1999, and they didn't win. And that was the year my husband and I moved to the US. During all these years, I have learned not only to love and respect this country and its people, but also to appreciate and embrace its culture. And its sports are a huge, huge part of the American culture. And always bring people together. No matter where they come from, no matter how they look like, I mean, doesn't matter. On the other hand, in Venezuela, there is one little thing that regardless of your race, your political affiliation, religion, sexual orientation, all Venezuelans love, and it's called arepa. My dream is that every soul on this beautiful country knows what an arepa is and learns how to make arepas and enjoy them. But what can I do to make you learn something that you've never seen or had before? That's when I came up with this brilliant idea of combining the two cultures with the two things I believe represent each country. Sports and arepas. That's it, sports and arepas. Arepa sports. Venezuelans eat arepas almost every day. It's like our daily bread. But guess what? They are gluten-free and very easy to make. Let me show you how easy this is. Set your griddle to medium heat and spread a little bit of oil and turn the oven to 500 degrees. In a bowl, add two and a half cups of water and salt to taste. Slowly add two cups of white cornmeal. I use harina pan. And stir with your hands until it turns into a thick, mushy texture. Now it's time to make some bowls. Arepas come in many different sizes, but for today, let's make them the size of a tennis ball. We use our palms to turn these balls into patties and place them on the griddle and let them cook for about four minutes on each side until they create a crust. Then they go into the oven for about eight minutes. While we wait, let's shred some chicken wings and mix with barbecue or buffalo sauce. Let's also make a guacamole and mix three avocados, half chopped onion, lots of cilantro, three diced tomatoes, salt, hot sauce, and lime to taste. For the chili, we are going to cook one pound of ground beef or turkey with salt, pepper, and cumin to taste. Let's then add three minced garlic puffs, one chopped onion, three chopped celery ribs, one chopped green pepper, two cans of diced tomatoes, and two cans of kidney or black beans. If you like, add some shredded cheese, hot sauce, or chili powder, and the chili is done. We now take the arepas out of the oven. We grab a knife and split the arepa open and stuff it with your favorite filling. Or you can have all three in one. I really hope you enjoy the Super Bowl eating arepas with your family and friends. Go Falcons! And thanks for watching.